Hi friends, this video shows how to connect this security camera to MI Home app. So first we need to install MI Home app from Google Play Store. Let me open Google Play Store. So we need to install this app, MI Home app. I already installed it. Awaiting connection. So this is the app, let me open it. So then we need to log in with MI account ID and password. Okay. Then we need to reset the security camera. We need a pin like this. So near to this USB port, we can find this reset button. Insert this pin inside this hole and press and hold for five seconds. Okay, reset has completed, is starting, please wait. So after that, it will automatically start rotating. So that way we can confirm that it has started successfully. Okay, done. So now we can tap on this plus icon on tap top right corner. Tap on this plus icon and tap on add a device. Then tap on video camera. Then tap on no QR code available and add manually. Tap here. Awaiting connection. From this list we need to select the camera model. So here I am using MI360 Home Security 2K Pro. Tap on this. Then tap on device reset. So here we need to select the Wi-Fi network. I am using this Wi-Fi network. Tap on this. Awaiting connection. Then enter the password of the Wi-Fi network here. I already entered it. So we need you need to enter your wi a password of your Wi-Fi network or Wi-Fi router. Then tap on next. Now it's connecting. Please wait. Okay, now we need to tap on this add a device manually. Tap here. Please enter the four digit password. Nine, one, one, eight. Enter this password. Nine, one, one, eight. Now it's connecting. Awaiting connection. Connecting. Please wait. Connected to Wi-Fi network successfully. Device paired to account successfully. Okay, connected. So now we can select one room. We we can create a room if you want. Let me select the room. Then tap on next. If you want to change the name, you can change name here. Then tap on next. Then Tap on nest again. Okay, done. Tap on agree. See, it's working. So this way we can connect this camera to in my home app please try this 